News this morning. Millions of Americans right now facing the threat from these ferocious wildfires racing across several counties in Texas right now. You're watching the National Desk, America's News Now. I'm Jan Jeffcoat. It's Wednesday, February 28th, and right now folks in Texas really scrambling to stay out of danger as crews work to control several large wildfires. Those wildfires broke out Monday morning and quickly spread to hundreds of thousands of acres. Let's get right to Angela Brown at the live desk for the latest developments. And Angela, those wildfires right now being fueled by those hot, dry, windy conditions. Right, those factors playing a role as these wildfires expand, Jan. This morning, Texas fire crews are battling four major wildfires, including the one you see right here, the smoke house fire right now is already grown to be the fifth largest in state history, consuming more than 250,000 acres, even crossing over state lines into Oklahoma overnight. Now, a live look over Austin, Texas this morning, where the governor issued a disaster declaration for 60 counties. I mean, this is the reason why back here. Some schools are closed this morning and several communities are under evacuation orders as the fires threaten homes and also businesses. Overnight, a nuclear weapons facility in Amarillo announced they evacuated facilities until further notice after flames got dangerously close to the property. And take a look at this brand new video right here, just into the live desk overnight, showing a fire burning near the plant on Tuesday. Fire crews warning those in that region to be on high alert. We have uh, not been able to get air tankers uh, so far. None have been available for this area. There are a lot of wildfires going on, and that's why I want to really encourage all of the people, the citizens of the Panhandle, when you're traveling around here, uh, be very fire aware.